Do you want to scan and fix a removable drive? <laughs> well, do I? <laughs> Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. This message pops up if you attach a removable drive, a USB thumb drive or some other external hard drive that has been shut down properly. That could be because your computer crashed or potentially because you removed the drive without using safely remove hardware. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to attach to this machine a drive that I know happens to have a problem. And there you can see there is a problem with this drive. Scan the drive now and fix it. And if you click on that, you get this message that we're talking about here. Do you want to scan and fix the drive? The short answer is that yes, you do want to scan and fix it, but you may want to consider doing something else first. The issue here is that the drive is known to have a problem. 99 times out of 100, scanning the drive will find no additional problems or will fix something minor and you'll carry on as if nothing happened. It's that one time out of 100 that concerns me that you should be wary of. What I recommend you do, if in fact this is happening to you and the drive has data, especially if the drive has data that is not backed up, my recommendation is that you actually continue without scanning, open up the drive and copy off your data. Get that data off the drive now make a backup copy. Like I said, if the, if the data exists only on that one drive, then it's not backed up. You don't have two copies. You don't have a safety net. If something were to happen to that drive, you would lose the data that was on it. Now, in most cases, I'm just going to go ahead and pull the drive here and I'm going to reinsert the drive. And sure enough, there's still a problem because we didn't fix it. I'll click on it and this time I'm going to go ahead and say scan and fix. This actually runs CheckDisk, our CheckDisk utility that I've got several articles on Ask Leo about. All that really does is it makes sure that the information about the information on the disk is actually correct, that uh, all of the files that are on the disk are correctly listed on the disk, that they know where they are uh, and so forth. You can see here that no errors were found. Even though it told us that errors were found, no errors were found. This actually is fairly common. There's looking at two different things. That initial indication is more along the lines of there may be errors on this drive. Actually running check disk, actually repairing the disk is what causes those errors to be repaired. Or if there aren't any errors, well, then there wasn't any errors and everything was fine to begin with. Clicking on the show details link is useful if you're interested at all in what check disk was returning. You may need to change uh, the sizing of the various windows and panes here, but what this does is this brings up event viewer open to the event log entry that contains the results of running check disk. And you can see we can scan through here, can scroll through here, and you'll see that you know, this is what check disk looks like when it's run on that drive. And there were in fact no errors. So if you have a drive that you know, has data that is backed up, that you're not worried about losing, that you can recover from somewhere else, or you just want to play the odds that you're that 99 out of 100, sure, go ahead and scan the drive, repair the drive and get on with your life. On the other hand, if you want to play it safe, if there's a possibility of data loss, then don't scan the drive right away copy off the data that you can, scan the drive, and then confirm if there were any fixes made that the data you care about is still there, or perhaps that other data wasn't also recovered that you also may want to now back up to somewhere else. For the article on which this video is based, for updates, for comments, for links related to the topic, visit askleo.com slash 125329. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com. Thanks for watching.